Hi, welcome to Smart Architectural Programming. Exporting Python data frames to SQL, Pandas versus SQL Alchemy. My name is Muhammad and coding alongside me is... is George and today we'll be going over exporting Python data frames to SQL. I'll let you take over Muhammad. Um, so this is a relatively niche topic, but like uh, generally speaking, it is something that should be understood somewhat how to work with data frames in particular. And when you're working with data frames, uh, mainly uh, you need to be, you know, a, on a professional level, you'll probably be dealing with putting data frames into a SQLite database so that you have persistent uh, uh, memory on that particular uh, information. So doing that, just getting an understanding about that would help you understand how to work with data frames. Uh, generally speaking, if you're talking about data frames, uh, they should be basically a fundamental, they're a fundamental data structure that are used in data analysis and manipulation, particularly in Python libraries like uh, pandas, basically. Um, it's a two dimensional labeled structure with columns and potentially different times, so on and so forth. I won't go too deep into that. Uh, it is uh, basically similar to a spreadsheet or a SQL table where data is organized into, into rows and columns. Just getting uh, an understanding of that would help you understand that data frames are used particularly in the data science subfield of Python. And that is why this might be something if you wish to pursue data science might be something that you need to uh, get a better understanding of going forward. But uh, till this point, we'll just be focusing on convert, you know, uh, exporting Python data frame to a SQL file. So we can say, can, you know, we convert data frame memory, persistent memory in, within our database. Um, we can use various libraries for that. Panda, SQLite, as SQL Alchemy, and it depends on our uh, requirements and preferences. Uh, we'll probably be going over two examples in going about this. One, both examples use SQL Alchemy and Pandas, but in one example, we'll just be going over exporting the file from pandas uh, of that data frame uh, on the code from pandas to uh, our SQLite database. And in the second example, we'll go oh, basically on how we can construct a completely new database using SQL Alchemy and then exporting the file to uh, SQL data frame to SQL basically. So let's focus on our first uh, uh, file, which is basically uh, a simple implementation of uh, you know, saving and exporting a data frame to a SQLite database. So again, we import on line one and two all the required libraries. We import pandas as PD and we import SQLite as uh, from SQLite library. We import the create engine library. Now, pandas is a data science library in Python. So uh, that there's that and SQLite, a uh, SQL Alchemy is a C is, a, or is an ORM library basically, which helps you deal with a database is like SQL without actually understanding how you need to, you know, SQL language, uh, the SQLite database language that you would need to uh, work with those databases directly. So it, it's a very convenient tool that you can use if you, you know, if you're working with SQLite databases uh, uh, with Python, basically. So from line four to nine, we define a sample dictionary which is basically what we convert to a data frame on line 10 into our a variable called df where we use panda pd dot data frame to convert this data into a data frame we're using pd dot or this pd means panda as we on line one we used import pandas as pd so we're using a method within the pandas library called data frame to convert uh, the li uh, the dictionary to a data frame now on between line 12 and 14, we basically do all the major aspects of exporting the data into the SQLite database. On line 13, we create a variable called engine and use the only uh, method that we imported from SQLite, create engine, within which we define, uh, we de define a SQLite uh, address, as well as we, uh, you, uh, the second uh, input is echo equals to false. Again, I won't go too deep into that because SQL Alchemy requires a complete entire video on its own. Uh, if you have some doubts about that, please open the documentation to get a better understanding of that.